one and we'll be right on our way. Jamie versus Kaiju. This could go really well for Kaiju. I could see him winning. But let's see game one. Oh, that's not supposed to happen. It's like, I don't understand. Why is TSH doing this? It's never a malfunction like that. Oh, Kaiju. Yeah, I recognize him. Yeah. Uh, wait. Oh, Jamie's JP. Oh, I see. New tag? Uh, new tag, yep. Okay. Uh, just keep in mind, Jamie is now she, her. And I just gotcha. kill that guy. The, uh, down B? Thunder? Thunder stream? No thunder. No, no, we'll kill. Funny. Uh, when I fought her last, uh, I believe she upset me, or I think I beat her after she upset me. One or the other. Mm -hmm. Oh, did she upset you? I don't remember her ever doing that. I remember her. Yeah, playing. she beat me once, I believe, in tour. Most of the times I got her, I beat her like usually 2 0 2 1, but I think one time she beat me in a tour last year. I just can't remember when. I don't know if that was the last time we fought or not. Also, I have to say, it is very entertaining that like half of the. Uh, What's it called? Half of the communities I am part of have a heavy trans community in it. <laughs> it's nice. This, Celeste, uh... It was actually, Ryzen? Smash in general, I guess. Yeah, I mean, overall, the interactions I've had with uh, those communities have been really positive. Right. Yeah. Celeste is such a great community. Yeah. Alright. Uh, Maddie mentioned, let me see, let me see, chat, are you, no, is Maddie even in chat? Maddie is not uh, in chat right Maddie now. was in chat. Nope. She's not watching, I don't think. I think she came in here to say penis, 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 and then dip. Anyways. <laughs> okay, so the interesting thing about this matchup, arguably, is that you would think that, uh, <coughs> could be pretty advantageous to Marth, but the issue, again, like I mentioned before with Mega Man, Marth's recovery is bad. As everybody knows, and Pika's recovery uh, coverage is very good. That's true. But light. So Tip Rap Smash will kill at that percent. So. I mean, Tip Rap um, Smash is gonna kill yeah. Pikachu so early. Oh. True. Kind of. I saw those screws right there. That was nice. That was nice. Yeah. Uh, what was it? I was thinking. Um. Also, one thing Kaiju really should stop doing is multiple hits off side B like that. You oh, should. Cool. At best, use side B one two or yeah, side, side, side B three, side B three up is good actually to set up into. Oh yeah, smash. side B one one two three. I'll have you do up for the second two. That's true. But like a full side B is very unsafe and rarely works unless you do it as a mix up. Blaster goat uh, and blaster that guy and he or just or you just take a what's it called. Yeah, there's the Marv <laughs> skill for uh, looks no, but, so good. Uh, has a true snap as well, so... Pretty nice. Yeah, and also Spidey with, uh... Side B4 does tend to not do much damage, either. That's what I'm trying to say. True. And then Side B4 down is, of course, useless. Side B4 up, I just... You don't actually see. It's actually not a move. Yeah. I mean, you could kind of set it up for some, like, uh, juggle situations, but it's not great. I mean, why are you using that as opposed to Marth up tilt? I think with Kaiju, what Kaiju should be doing here more to deal with Pika's airspace is to kind of do backspace. No, not backspace. Uh, what's it? What's the terminology again about it? Um, Space backer or tipper backer? No, no. Um, fade back. Uh, fade back. Yeah, fade back there more. Oh, that's a, there. You go. Fade back. Fair. Yeah, if you do fade. Yeah, fade back fair with Marth is a lot better in this situation because that way you can avoid some of Pika's more poke aerials like fair or near mm -hmm. so if you can do fade back fair more you'll be able to kind of get that ship damage a little bit better and then you could just set up for an up for up air or a fair f smash type situation but it is still you know right i i i, I got so good for I think the... being retreating versus is pretty good but as um overall um history has shown that jamie uh likes playing a little passively when she has a move. But she I mean, does true, on passive, that's one thing. But in terms of general neutral, that's different. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, and in, in, in neutral, um, like, if they're, especially if they're even, 
she's down. Yeah, also, another thing is just try avoid using Derek in neutral, because that means you'd be taking a lot more landing lag if that misses, which is pretty common. So Sadly, we see a lot of up-and-coming Mars just spam that move. We see Boom Crap, uh, Blaster Boy, I don't think he knows what he's doing half the time, but we still love him. And then, but yeah, um, hide you here. And that's, and it's funny, because I don't... I just had a Mars secondary that I just played mostly on randoms. I don't. I, I don't remember really that Mars secondary. Before. I remember that Mars secondary. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Usually, there's aspects of Mars I understand pretty well, even if I might not input it properly, because I sometimes have trouble with inputs because I am very mash heavy. Yeah, you say Mega Man's the highest inputs per character, highest mi inputs per minute character. How many of those are just input mashing inputs? I mean, it's in a sense, it's a lot of buffer inputs, if that makes sense. Like, that makes sense. I do a lot of inputs. I just do a lot of inputs very fast that are all bufferable. So I am able to get certain situations that like take seven, eight, nine inputs in like very short amount of time to get a certain situation going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah, like there, so you should important. probably just get on a side beam one, saw a shield, and stop using side beam. Just go for a, either a neutral reset or just try maybe go for grab. That could work too. I think. I for, on Pika's side, I, I think. Side with, win, yeah, I think with, Pika, with this situation for, Pika, for uh, Jamie, <laughs> what she could be probably doing more is actually Tijal. If you can try to sort of, kind of like as you said, to be more passive, but instead of trying to go in with Nair or something, if you try to get some Tijal grab confirms, that probably would be a lot more beneficial for Pika, because as it stands right now, you're kind of going hit trades, and hit trades with Pika is not great. Yeah, Pikachu's damage output sucks ass, so you're kind of just going to be wrong. Pikachu's damage input is, output is very good if you get into punish. If you just do hit trades, it's bad. Yeah, trade inputs, trade inputs, or trade trade situations, Pikachu's never winning that. I don't, I think, honestly, Loki, I'll say it. There's some situations, but very rare. Like, I can see, again, S Mega Man, S -Mash, you can like hit trade pretty well. Pikachu's at smash tax, definitely, I think, are on the stronger side of things. Like, right here. Okay. Nope. There you go. That should cover it. Sushi, yeah. I will not turn up my mic. Fuck you. I, my mic is literally up to the max. I'll put it right in front of my face. How about that, Sushi? I'm also assuming these recordings include commentary, right? You're a uh, what? These uh, these recordings for uh, replays, that's including commentary too? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, uh, we're going to be keeping that on. Just want to point out, by the way, want to point out Kaiju's profile picture. <laughs> I do like the <laughs> bottomless pit. Brainless person. Oh, uh, I thought that was a coffee cup. <laughs> I thought so too the first time I saw it. But no, it's just a guy drooling with some whack ass hat on. Oh, that could have been up there. <laughs> that would kill that up there. <coughs> I think that would tip it up there, there. Oh, no fair. Fair, fair M. I don't know about that one. I think Pikachu's. A flash? Thunder? A thunder? There's a double! Doesn't kill. Yeah. Jamie nice pivot there. Trains, yeah. The I could have maybe seen a drag. What was it? Drag down? I think. Oh, that should kill. Yep. Roll. Jamie killed me there. Sushi. Jamie I can see this going to game five. I can obviously just going to game five. And you can smell it in the water, eh? Well, I, I won't spoil. I have not seen bracket. I have not seen replay, so I have no idea. That, that just makes commentary better. I think that commentary, if they've been spoiled, also, it's so much worse, because it's just like, you know, you're just kind of anticipating. Right. But for me, it, for me, it low-key helps. I, I don't know Until why up there. Near. Just helps me get into the Probably get under coverage on us first stage. That should be it. If you can just get the thunder, yep. No, oh, no! no. Playing, if you got, if there's any thunder I'm there, if you did probably actually. down there, that Wally was in enough of a situation to avoid Kaiju from recovering. Oh, there we go. That should give it. And yeah. Good coverage, good uh, under coverage there. Good setups. So game three. This will at least go to game four. Oh, that's true, actually. <laughs> I completely forgot about that stuff. But, um... That was a really good showing of what both characters can do, I think. I think we're gonna see a stage switch, though. Probably. Yeah, Although Jamie, I do love PS2. you overall, I mean, if you uh, press grab uh, more, you just... I, I hate Coney. I hate Coney so much because he made me think of PS2 immediately when he bought a Coliseum. Goddamn. PC, yep. PC, PS2. Kind of weird. 
Cody, oh wait, you're in New York, so have you ever actually met Cody in person? Do you, I don't know if you play Melee. Oh, uh, IBDW Cody? IBD, IBD, bah. yeah, that guy. Uh, honestly, no, because I've actually only done, oh, nice temper fair F smash. Um, <gasps> oh, actually, oh, nice air coverage, nice. I've only joined one in-person tournament as a spectator, and that was Let's Make Big News 2020. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's bad. Oh well. Yeah. So no, I've actually not seen a single in-person melee tournament or a standard Smash tournament outside that one. So, <laughs> and that was right before COVID. Right. I think. Like, uh, dude, right melee. Before. Melee is such a cool game. I play it now, and it I is. Can't get, I can't get off of it. It's so good. I would, I would definitely love to watch a, being like, I don't know. I was thinking of going to Let's Make Big Moves 2024, 2024, yeah. Which I, I am so upset that I didn't go. But that was what? such a great tournament, watch. You play, you uh, do play Melee, right? No, I don't play Melee. I only play Flash 2, and I used to play Ultimate, but like, casually. As a Mega or Man Casual player, competitive, right? or whatever. What? Have you, you've played the Mega Man games, right? I feel no. you're, or you're like the, or were you the person that said they haven't played their character's base game, but they yes. just love the character? So I never play a Mega Man game. I don't think I'm playing to, because I think that's funny. You don't like, you don't like the games overall. You just like how he feels. I don't care, because I've never tried it before, and I, don't, I just think it's funny. Ah. Uh, at this point, it's just funny. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I feel once there's this, once you're at a certain point, Ooh. you're probably you're gonna. Probably should have done pivot. Uh, if you did pivot up B, not up B, uh, pivot grab, that probably would have been enough to get the up throw up air situation for uh, Kaiju there. But oh yeah. well. I think isn't up throw up air a 50 50 between whether they jump air dodge or not? Nope, it's a uh, true confirm if you get to the right percent range. It's, it's kind of like inkling up air. Up yeah, up air. it is true, but I just feel it's it's a very tight window, which is sad. It is a tight window for certain characters. Up oh, there smash, we go. Throw, throw, smash. I think Kaiju wins this game. I think he's gonna get some random type of bullshit. It could be either or. This yeah. is definitely a good stage for both characters. For Pikachu, it's good because you can get some good area coverage when it comes to t and fair spacing on ledge. While for Kaiju and Mark, it's very good considering you have good situations with uh, platform extensions, with <laughs> fair covering, fair enough tilt covering, uh, flat landings. So, both very good. Uh, both good for both characters, basically. Yeah, I see it. Damn, you're very analytical. I am extremely analytical, yes. You're like the kind of guy who watches all his sets and all of a sudden you pull out a paper and notepad and just like, what could I have done on this specific frame? No, actually, I'm not a person who labs either. I, I do not get how you win all your sets when you don't lab with a character like Mega Man. Like, I don't lab either, but... I'm playing Samus. I, the, I can I can afford. The thing is that the only times I ever go into like single player with a training mode is ever when I have a situation I figure out online in randoms and I just oh that's interesting let me see if that works and then I go, oh that's how that works that's how I discovered Belt for Pellet that's how I did like um, a lot of the situations with uh, uh, Petra when that was my go to for uh, reversals. Pellet extended like, that's basically something all. right. Pellet Pellet time reverse aerials. Oh PTRA okay. Yeah. Oh, I pronounce it like Petra, like from Hunger Games, because I think that's just more fluid. Mm -hmm. That should be a bear. Up B, but not gonna kill. Ironically enough, Uppy's, um, Uppy's uh, like, Oh, you could have held. That could have been a held. Bomb whenever this is a very close game, uh, third stock here. That should kill. Nope. The guy out. Good. Very close. However, comma. Both these players. Hunter Joel's covering the uh, approach there. That's good. Both these players are very or well pro, up, for kind of... Sort of up-tilted. Um, up-tilted show killed there. Mistakes whenever... Down smash won't work. Oh, this is very spaghetti. Yeah. Whenever these players are both at high percent and it's even and whatnot, they're very well known for making mistakes. Jamie gonna steal that stock, though. Now Kaiju gotta play catch-up with a character that... Not has. really catch-up. This is gonna be a one-situation kill. Like, even... Yeah, with, what move? With, what, move? with what move? Kaiju would not. is uh, not wriggle. Not Rigo. I can see F-Tilt killing at this point, honestly. Just, just stand F-Tilt, yeah. you're gonna have- Oh, oh that's your kill. It's so stupid. Why, do, why does Tipper Fair send out? It should send out. That's how the move should be designed. And, no, uh, that makes sense for uh, confirming. It's better than all uh, ult Tipper Fair, honestly. Do you Tipper Fair and ult is kind of just a spacing um, game, but like, it's just single hit stuff. Yeah, because Fair in that game is more useful for killing off the sides, because, you know, Mark needs it there, but... 
Right. Here it's better because it extends your combos, which is what right. Sif 2 is all about. Which is what honestly what should be all deck kills. Fuck a Sif 2 sometimes, man. Really, really. Well, no, that makes sense. No, that makes sense. If you get a situation which you can confirm it's an S match temper, you go for it. Mm. That's fine. Wash, wash. Sushi, sushi's begging Jamie to go SV. It's gonna be an SV game right here, right now. Oh hi, Jamie. I see you in chat. Oh, toss. I smash and neutral. This, it's Jover. Oh, never mind. Oh, going back to this is not a bad idea. Toss is, yeah, toss is just. It's pretty neutral for both these characters. Toss is a very good Pika stage, because with Toss you can cover with a lot of grounded area with uh, T-Jolt, and then with uh, vertical approaches you can just cover with your aerials to kind of oh, that's through the air. And you can just retreat Thunder whenever. Hello, Jamie. Actually, okay, yeah, that would have been a situation where I think you might be able to have done uh, Dash Cancel as uh, National Tipper, but I think it didn't land right. Yeah, also, that maybe kill kill. She's pretty right about one thing. She doesn't often go for. She doesn't get edge guard kills that often. When she does, it's good. But other, most of the time, she's just not. She's yeah, I think I think uh, edge guard kills with Pika is how you need to get a lot of these these matchups proper. Otherwise, you're gonna be dying. Uh, you you'll be killing a lot later on average because you can There's do no way that really good not kill. Oh, I didn't get the uh, tip mark killer. <coughs> Like here, like here's Mark uh, living up to 169, even <laughs> though you probably could have gone a fair or bare off stage in your health ledge or covered a platform, and you probably would have gone to kill like 50% earlier. Mm -hmm. If you I, go more for that edge guarding. You know, if this were friendlies, I would be scolding Pete, uh, Jamie right now, but I, I completely approve. This is how you're supposed to be playing plays. You, you're not supposed to be holding back. Thunder drifting, like a camper, a coward. Oh, that could have been a second there. Oop. He jolts cover, let, bear, dare, okay, like here, instead of spacing like here, you should actually kind of go in and threaten that space vertically, because if you do so, oh, that sucks. It's joke. But yeah, if you, if you could uh, threaten that space off stage, then it basically minimizes the options and you can kind of re react. If you just stand still, then you're kind of just letting the player recover for free, which in a lot of matchups is something you can't let them ha uh, have that freedom and accessibility. Okay, that was a lot of words. It sounded like uh, your inputs per minute. I'm not gonna lie, there's a lot of stuff. Yes, they talk very fast. Eh. Not necessarily clearly, but fast. All right, Jamie, your Twitter is wrong because you decided to put it wrong and start GG. Not my fault. Not my problem. We will get back in the second there. This is just up tilts, up airs, fair. Yep. Uh, good juggle situation overall. Marth juggle game. And yet, this does look like a game five situation for sure. Yeah. Well, Kaiju can definitely make it back here. Uh, there is aspects of this current thing where basically Jamie's been ahead the whole game. Not to mention there was an SD earlier on that could have gone for much longer. So, and this this lead is just expanding it more and more. Mm -hmm. Side B. Jamie's misinputting a little bit with these side Bs. I don't know. Side B's not a good move either. That won't kill. That I do think that it, Kaiju should be also a good role. Um, wall hug with the uh, t jolts but I think Kaiju should really be doing a lot more op-tilts to try to kill out. Yeah, no, just throw out op -tilt. That's what Riggle does. That's what... Uh, yep, three uh, stock advantage. This Kaiju. should be a game five. Yeah. This... I, I We did say no. there's no go next, so... Could be... There really is no go next, but this is a pretty large uh, lead right now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if Kaiju... I have made... Like, I've gone into situations where I'm like this, and suddenly I get to last stock, last hit, which is very funny. I did that against Tiller, which is hilarious to me, but... <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, wasn't that your beta I still reset? That. that was my beta reset. That was Dude, my game four set. I was... That was a peak tour. That I don't was care a that we had tour. Crystal yeah. and Ender, and uh, I don't care we had Clane versus Ender. Like, that was still a great I mean... Tour. I don't honestly, care about what happened I, on I the mic enjoy... during your set with Tiller. It was a great tour. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. That's it. That's yeah, good. that's dead. But yeah, game five. Um, no, I do f find Crystal enjoyable to watch and even fight against, to be honest. I don't mind Crystal either. The only characters... Because I can cheese her ass. The characters I don't like fighting against usually are Puff, um, Ichigo, for obvious reasons, Link, mm -hmm. for obvious reasons, 
Um, that's really about it. Kind of chic, but that's more of an uncomfortable situation type feel, but yeah. Right. Hmm. It's F smash and neutral. It just works. <laughs> yep. Hey, what, what's your opinion on Mega Man F smash? Uh, bad. Just a bad move? Is it reflectable? It's Yes. That's Bad. sad. That's very sad. There's a reason why I only use F tilt for killing forward with that. I don't use up smash. Or up smash, I mean. Does that actually. I, doesn't F tilt kill earlier? Uh. Probably. Honestly, probably. I've, because, like, I've used it at Mega Man F smash and it just feels so weak. F smash for Marv. Not Marv. For Mega Man is a move that has good uh, usage in certain situations, especially on ledge for. Um, covering uh, get up attack and or neutral because usually if you uh, condition people to try to do certain uh, ledge get ups you can use F smash to sort of uh, trick them but usually I try to go for just pellet F tilt with buffer pellet because that's just a much safer method of killing right well that was also like, if I do a pretty stubby sad up smash right there from Jamie after yeah. missing that Marth killer well we'll keep that in mind Jamie uh, do something better yeah. after you miss your Marth killer no, uh, what should we call it? Uh, with it comes to Mega Man and like those situations, pellet, a buffer pellet F tilt is just so much better in basically every situation. Considering that, oh, that could have been an F smash. Um, when it comes to buffer, uh, buffer pellet F tilt, if you shield the F, if you shield pellets, then the F tilt will just space you out and it's safe and you won't be into disadvantage that way. Good coverage there. Uh, if it does hit, then you die more likely than not. And otherwise, if it just hits the pellets and they somehow escape, generally don't have a move fast enough that will get you into a disadvantaged position and just goes back to neutral. So, compared to F Smash, where if it's unsafe on shield, uh, it puts you in a large amount of end lag, they're reactable, reflectable, power shieldable, it's just not good. Mm -hmm. I think F Tilt overall has really good uses as well because it's one of those moves where it has high startup, but. It's really strong, has very little very good start. It's really yes. good for trading. Also, this is a very, very quick game five here. Yeah, uh, I don't know what happened, but Kaiju, uh, I don't know, uh, two had killers, an easy basically. racket and uh, started playing, playing easy, bro. I don't know. Yo, uh, Jamie just started to do a lot better when it comes to Marth killers and got two of them in a row. Yep. That's uh, the thing with Marth. If Kaiju you for are not stage, good at sorry. covering, you will die early. You got the download and the toss game. Uh, disagree. Will highly not shake that hand because uh, you, that, that also game using quick attack to try to uh, interact or interrupt with uh, Kaiju's approaches. It's also very smart. I think Kaiju kind of got burnt out. Oh, Tipper F smash. Okay. So mean. Well, I mean that is how I that is how I commentate, Jamie. I am pretty mean when I'm on the mic. Up till there. No. There's a bear. Uh, okay. Ooh. Pikachu's bear. Yeah, kind that's of a good usage time. of Tipper, oh, not tipper of Shield Killer for a landing Wait. there. That's a good usage, and that should that's kill. That's the death. Yeah. Game five. Uh, Kaiju's gonna lose three to two. Good showing from him, though. What Marth can do, even at a lower level. I really should consider doing more commentary. 